Hello, I'm Joe. I'm the author of SearchKit, and I just want to show you how quickly it is to build a search experience using Elasticsearch, SearchKit, and Instant Search. First, we start by indexing our documents into an Elasticsearch instance. So here I've got using Elastic Cloud, I'm indexing two and a half thousand uh, products, and this is the data set that we'll be using for the demo. This is the code. So Right now, what we've got is that we're going to start super simple and we're going to use instant search JS. And this allows us to import the scripts for it via CDN. So we're importing search kits, instant search client, search kit, and instant search. And then we're just using the default stars for instant search. This markup is just used from our, for our widgets by instant search to, to mount. And this is the configuration for SearchKit. So we're talking about the connection details here. As I say, you know, it depends on how you are set up Elasticsearch, but this could be to your Elasticsearch instance. Some of the search settings, the name, uh, we're just configuring the highlights and result attributes to be name. And we're using some of the components, the widgets. So search box, hits, and for each item, we just display the name using the highlights attribute. And then we've got a bit of pagination. So if we go back and we just view this index file, this is what we see. We just see that and we can, we can search. Okay, great. Nice step one. Okay, let's make it a little bit more interactive. Let's add a widget onto it for fasting. So we're going to add a facet attribute. So we go to the configuration here. Facet attributes. We're going to add the designer name. Okay, onto that. And then we're going to add the widget as well. So we're going to add the in. The, do, do, do. On there and then we need to have a container to put that in so let's do that right let's put it just a h2 here designers okay let's reload the page right and then you've got a list of designers and you can click through them you can search through them and that's it great okay let's make it a little bit more let's use the categories now the categories is in a we have a hierarchical category system. So let's try and do that. So notice how the data is indexed in that, that way. And let's go into our code. We're going to first start adding the designers, the, sorry, the categories. Okay. And then we're going to start adding the hierarchical facet for it. So buh, 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 put it on here. And then we do, right, so categories. Okay, let's, and then we'll put in an element like this. Do, do, do. Oop. Okay, save that. Go back to the demo, reload, and then you can see it. Okay, let's put a heading in there just so that it's obvious what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Right. Selecting t-shirts. Right. Really nice. Okay. Let's, let's try and make it show designer now. So we can go back to the hits. We can add a new one. Designer. Let's add it to result and highlight attributes. Reload, it's shown, search for that. And it comes up, great. Okay, next part. Let's make it, let's have a, a numerical filter. So let's go put in a facet for price. OK, 
Okay. Let's add the range input for it. Okay, let's add an element for price. Okay, reload the page. And now you've got a price. As you select, it also refines. So you can see that the minimum and maximum get updated. Okay. And that's it. I think the next steps that you can do, you can apply this markup and change that. In the next part, I will show you that. We're in the network. As you're doing it, we're triggering off 